Like, uh, for the day. <laughs> for the 80s. <laughs> it's my inspiration. <laughs> He's here. She to tidy me up. Come on in. Mm. All right. Because she puts my lipstick on and then mm. I eat it off. <laughs> this gorgeous one. Mm. What color is this one? This one is... Nice. Almost, yeah. And this is you because this really matches your... um. Natural mm. um, color. Mm. Clothes for me. Hey, Lauren, looking forward to tomorrow. What time are you in this morning? 2.45. Oh, my God. When do you go home? We leave at about 11.30. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. It's early. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, good. Happy? Okay, good. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just going to bring your neck down just a smidgen more. Just hold up. I come prepared today. I have hot water bottle. Giant blanket. I'm not going to get cold. Um, day six of the Paralympics, and it's um, another big day. I think on the track mostly we're going to be all over the place, but Ezra's jumping today, the high jump. See if he can get his gold. Um, a little chillier day today at USA House. We are about to interview the three gold medalists from Team USA Paratriathlon 24 hours later. I'm excited to see what they've been up to. Now we are setting up for Matt Stutzman and Jason Tabanski, gold medal archers. And I almost just ran into somebody filming this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hello. Um, do you have um, um, inspiration for the young people um, or advice you can uh, give? Of course. Uh, so first of all, my entire life people said I couldn't do anything because I had no arms. But there are no excuses on you chasing your dreams and achieving what you really want. Okay. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Thank you. This is the first time I've been in bed before midnight, which is awesome. Um, I called my dad and had a good FaceTime chat with him. He told me to give a lot of my former teammates some coaching tips. And he's 78. We have different political ideologies, but this is not about that. It's about how my dad and his fellow 80-year-old friends are all watching the Paralympic stateside and how they're pissed that they can't watch the recordings in the evenings and that I'm not constantly texting them to let them know when I go live because I have no idea. And I, I'm i just so grateful and overwhelmed and excited to hear about how many people that I, I would have never expected to watch disabled sports. And they're not just watching track. They're watching the murder ball. They're watching... What else was he saying? He was watching... Oh, swimming. He's, like, really invested into the categories of swimming right now. Um, and that would be from the Michelle Conkley covering swimming and explaining the category. He was like, did you say something? Because they're explaining the category so good for swimming. And I'm like, I, maybe. We talk about it a lot in the Paralympic space. Um, but that would be the Michelle Conkley I have a few people I have to write now because he was giving very specific coaching. And then he was talking about Rod's um, high jump, 47 class, upper limb disability. And he was like, I don't care if you're disabled or not, or if you got a disability and a, you got a broken eyelash, seven foot four is a hell of a jump. <laughs> and that was the quote of the night. And my heart is full and I'm so happy because I think it's the people you wouldn't expect that start caring that like that's when you know it's starting to matter. And that is very cool.